Hello, I'm Damon, Mercy Solutions. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, the Sony Optical Disc Archive. Uh, we've got a Sony Pet Sight, uh, which is a 30 slot library um, set up here. And what we'll do if we uh, just take a quick look at the uh, specifications here on the desktop. So, you can see the Sony system. Okay, so what we can see if we take a quick look here. It's the Sony ODA cartridge is a worm cartridge that store 5.5 terabytes of data. Um, you've got a standalone drive, or again the Petasite system. Now we've actually got Petasite here set up with a server, which we'll take a look at um, shortly. Um, and this will scale out to sort of 30 petabytes plus in a series of racks holding lots of data. So let's uh, take a quick look at uh, the ODA cartridge. And we'll discuss some of the uh, advantages then as well. Okay, so you can see here we've actually got a uh, ODA cartridge. Uh, this is a 300 gig one. You can see they're uh, fully enclosed, so it's impossible for any fingerprints or dust to actually get onto the discs there, uh, which quite often can, with sort of uh, optical discs in the past, cause damage and problems. Uh, but the cartridge enclosure stops that. Uh, what we've actually got here is a uh, display or sample unit, so you can actually see how the cartridge uh, works. Um, you can see it's a see-through. What we can do is take the cover off. And you can see inside there is, uh, in this particular one, 11 discs. Um, generation 2 and Generation 3 has 10 discs. Um, just cover there. Let's bring the, pick the cartridge up and just have a look to the side. You can actually see that uh, there's 11 uh, optical discs. Um, these are very similar to uh, a sort of Blu-ray disc um, that you'd normally handle within a thing, or a uh, optical drive. And you can see here, uh, but uh, one of the discs. Obviously, this is not something you would ever do with an ODA cartridge. And you would never open them and actually remove the discs. As in doing so, you're uh, going to get fingerprints on there. Okay, so moving over to the library, um, got a mail slot, uh, actually pressing the uh, import exports. Um, you can see we've got the ability to import up to three uh, cartridges at a time. Uh, a couple of cartridges here which we're going to load. And then, uh, once we uh, shut the uh, mail slot, uh, we'll just take a look at the library. Uh, we'll see the library will actually go and move those from the uh, imports here with the picker and place those into uh, a slot on the uh, library. So this is the L30, so there's actually 30 slots in here. So we can hold 30 cartridges uh, with the 5.5 terabyte ODA media. Um, it allows you to have um, 165 terabytes of data. Okay, so let's take a look at the advantages. Uh, the media is long life. Uh, the ODA media is rated for storing data for over 100 years. So if you've got video, photos, videos, um, data that needs to be kept, um, the optical is an ideal media. Tape is rated sort of for 30 years and the hard disk for five. Uh, the optical media um, has got very uh, favorable storage conditions. Uh, you see it will store quite comfortably from minus 10 to uh, 55 uh, degrees centigrade um, with a relative humidity between 3% and 90%, uh, which means you don't need a specialist storage environment like you would for tape. The transfer rate is also very fast, um, over 250 uh, megabytes a second on read. Okay, let's switch over, so we'll connect to the machine and I'll just bring in a robotics there as well so we can actually see the library. So the library is administered via a web browser. We will just log in here. And it's connected. And you can see we've got a couple of drives in this library. And if we connect through, take a look at the cartridges. You can see we've got two cartridges loaded in here. Cartridge uh, two and cartridge three. This is actually the barcode that we've stuck on there um, on the actual cartridge. So 
I come through to this drive letter drive X which is generated by the software you can see we've actually got a couple of folders again represented by the barcode number I'm actually going to do one here just create a folder and call this example To this folder I'm going to actually just copy some data you can see it's gone straight into a cache I've also got a second cartridge here and again I'm going to do the same on this cartridge um, just call this a demo and we'll pop into here okay, a few more files Again, they've written across. So what we'll see, these are actually been stored in the cache. Uh, what we'll see in a moment, if I switch over to the uh, little screen of the uh, robotics, if we'll see the robotics, we'll pick up and uh, move the cartridges and commit that to the uh, media. Uh, it'll take probably about 30 seconds. You can see there, it's uh, grabbed the first cartridge. And uh, it's gonna place that into the drive. Uh, start recording. So if we switch back to the desktop here, what we can actually do uh, bring the robot back up as well. We'll be able to see here uh, within the software that the uh, system is reporting that it's uh, writing. So you can see we've actually got a couple of jobs that have been uh, set for processing, and um, that's going to be committed to the uh, cartridges. So you can see at the moment we've got a gigabyte of data waiting to be written um, and archived. Right. Okay, so that one's complete. And I suspect what we shall see now is the cartridge will change over, which it is. Again, watch we'll change over and we can uh, watch the, uh, the robot change that. You can see, so I'll put that cartridge away. I pick the other cartridge. Okay. Into the picker. And place it to the drive. And there we go. If we change back to the actual uh, software. Uh, we'll actually see that this will uh, be uh, processing here. Uh, we'll actually see that uh, we're archiving there now. Okay, now let's bring the uh, robot back in. cartridges again with the various folders we can see the contents again just going back to uh, the computer we put this virtual drive letter with the data on and you can actually see that data has been written now actually uh, unloading the cartridge and again if I was to go back through here put some of the older pictures um, these are obviously stored in the cache so they come back instantly loading the cartridge there, getting ready to serve uh, other requests. Again, let's copy this file off. Again, we can see the files coming back. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if we have helped you, reach out to us for our website, mercia.solutions.